in this video let's see a uh, numerical solution of second order ode so far we have seen first order ode now we are going to find the numerical methods for second order ordinary differential equation so given a second order differential equation y double dash is equal to g of x y y dash with the initial conditions y of x naught is equal to y naught and y dash of x naught is equal to y naught dash so for if it's a, a first order we need only this now we want the value at its derivative also so these are the initial conditions for the second order so here what we are going to do is always we are going to substitute z as dy by dx this is your first substitution if you substitute z as dy by dx and if you differentiate once what we will get dy by dx is nothing but y dash if i differentiate once again i will get y double dash that is d square y by dx square this is nothing but dz by dx if z is dy by dx if we differentiate again dz by dx will become d square y by dx square that is what we have written here okay so therefore the given equation becomes in the place of y double dash i'll substitute dz by dx that's equal g of x y y dash the place of y dash i have substituted z okay now the function is changing in terms of x y and z if you notice and y of x not is y not same we have written here y dash y dash is nothing but z z of x not is equal to z not because y not dash i have written it as z not that's it now if you see we have got two first order differential equations what are they that is dy by dx is equal to z and dz by dx is equal to g of xyz these are the two differential equations now uh, let's see rk method for second order we have only two methods here one is uh, rk method and uh, the other one is adams bashworth in second order okay now see this problem d square by dx square is equal to x into dy by dx the whole square minus y square for x is equal to 0.2 that is what they have given correct to four decimal places using the initial condition y is equal to 1 and y dash is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 so they have given when x is equal to 0 so x not value is 0 y not is 1 y not dash that is z value is zero these are the initial conditions okay now this is a question we are going to replace dy by dx as z yes so when i substitute dy by dx as z we know d square by dx square will become dz by dx now i'm changing my question this as dz by dx is equal to x into this is dy by dx is nothing but z z square minus y square see this i have written the same thing dz by dx is equal to xz square minus y square this is nothing but a first order differential equation so the given question i am reducing it to two equation one is dy by dx is equal to z this substitution is same for all the problem and this depends on your function in each problem dz by dx is equal to xz square minus y square and what are the initial values y not as 1 x not as 0 and z not is also 0 why this is y not y dash is nothing but z so z value is 0 x not is 0 so these are the initial conditions and these are the two differential equations so all we did is substitute dy by dx as z so d square by dx square will become dz by dx so just replace it this substitution in the given question that's it now we have the same formula and we are going to apply those formulas for these two equations uh, you can name this first function as f of x y z as a first function always our first function is uh, z that is our substitution and dz by dx that is the second one that we name it as g of x y z 
okay so uh, first substitution this will be same this is my function f of x y z and this changes uh, from problem to problem okay so g of x y z is nothing but x z square minus y square so we have got two functions that is f of x y z and g of x y z now what are these initial values already we know it x not is 0 y not is 1 and z not is 0 and h is 0 0.2 why h is 0 0.2 this concept is also same they didn't uh, say apply or uh, rk method in two stages they are asking you to find the function value when x is equal to 0 0.2 correct so uh, what is your initial value of x 0 from 0 to 0 0.2 what is the distance that is 0 0.2 so I have taken h as 0.2 directly okay and now if you see I have written these uh, functions simultaneously see here what is the first formula k1 is equal to h into f of x0 y0 z0 so 0.2 into f of 0 1 0 because I have already written what is x0 y0 and z0 what is my first function k1 my first function is f when i write f of x y z see the first function this function is nothing but z so i will write only the z value this is the easiest function so what is your z value 0 so i am writing the z value 0 0.2 into 0 0 now l1 is by using the second function formula is the same okay so h into in the place of f i have g the function is different that's it g of x0 y0 and z0 h is 0.2 and whatever which is there inside that is also same because x0 y0 z0 only here also here also so g of 0 1 0 what is the function g here my function g says that x into z square minus y square write x square the z value minus square the y value so this is x first value is x second value is y third value is z correct so 0 into 0 square minus 1 square so x is 0 y is 1 z is 0 so again i repeat this function will be same for all the problem this will change from problem to problem so whatever given in the question that will be your right hand side according to that you have to calculate and see if the formulas are same only the functions are different now the correction should be or the checking should be stepwise because your k1 l1 value you are going to carry it to the next uh, formula so in case if your k1 or l1 is wrong everything will go wrong okay see this this is a formula for k2 same formula that we have used for first order h into f of x0 plus h by 2 y0 plus k1 by 2 comma z0 plus l1 by 2 please be careful that this by 2 is only for the second term h by 2 k1 by 2 l1 by 2 don't write the whole thing divided by 2 in that case this value will go wrong what is your x0 x0 is 0 plus h by 2 what is h 0 0.2 by 2 0 0.2 by 2 is 0 0.1 plus 0 so we have written 0 0.1 and y0 value is 1 plus k1 by 2 k1 value just now we got it as 0 so 1 plus 0 by 2 so we have got 1 and the third value z0 value is 0 plus l1 by 2 l1 is minus 0 0.2 by 2 so minus 0.1 is that clear so that is why i said if you are going to find k2 before that you check whether your k1 and l1 is correct or else you will be carrying these mistakes throughout the end and it's tough for you to again repeat the entire problem step by step so first check k1 l1 correct then go for k2 and uh, what is my function f f is again very easy my function f says write the function z as it is that is what i did i wrote only the z value so 0.2 into what is my z value minus 0 0.1 so you got this answer now to find l2 l2 is nothing but same thing instead of f i am going to write g 
So, is there a need to calculate these things inside the bracket again? Not required. Already you have calculated and written. You are going to write this as it is only your function change. Here my function is f, here my function is g. This is the only change. So, what is the second function here? The second function is saying that uh, h into write down the x value into z square. That is x value is 0 0.1, y is 1, z is minus 0 0.1. So, minus 0 0.1 the whole square minus y square, y square value is 1. So, please remember the function is the same but here x value is this, this is y value and this is z value. Okay. So, x into z square minus y square. So, calculating this we got L to us minus 0 0.1998. So, we have got first k1, then l1, then k2, then l2, then we are going to find k3. Yes. So, this is the k3 formula h into f of x0 plus h by 2, y0 plus k2 by 2, z0 plus l2 by 2. Do not write the whole thing divided by. This will change. Okay. So, 0 0.2 into f of x0 is 0 plus h by 2, 0 0.2 by 2. So, it is 0 0.1. Y naught is 1 and this k2, uh, we got a negative value. That is why we are getting this. That is minus 0 0.02 by 2. So, that is why we got this answer. And z naught is 0. L2 just now we have got it in the previous page. Uh, that is minus 0 0.1998 by 2. So, we got this answer. And simplifying, you got 0 0.1, 0 0.99, minus 0 0.0999 inside this. And this is my function f. f function is very easy. f of x, this is x, this is y, this is z. What is f of x, y, z? f of x, y, z is nothing but z. So, I am writing the z value as it is. Multiply these two, plus into minus. So, negative sign. Please be careful with the sign. So, we got this answer as k3. And now, L3. For L3, do I have to write like this and find it out? Already we got these values and this is going to be the same. So, directly we can write this as G of. So, this calculation is not required again. So, only the function changes. Here the function is F of something. Here it is G of. What is there inside the brackets? That is X, Y, Z values are same. And this function is X into Z square minus Y square. So, calculating we got this answer minus 0 0.1958. You can use a calculator and check the calculations on your own. And finally, we have K4. And what is the K4 formula? K4 is H into F of X0 plus H, Y0 plus K3, Z0 plus L3. H is 0.2, F of X0 is 0, H is 0.2. Now, you can see function value at point 2. That is your question. You got this. And y naught is 1. And um, plus k3 is this negative value. Comma z naught is 0. And l3 is this previous negative value. Okay. So, we are going to simplify. So, 0 plus point 0.2, point 0.2 we get. And we got these values that is 0 0.2, 0 0.99002 minus 0 0.1958. So, now this is your x value and this is your y value and this is your z value since your function is f. What you will do? f of x, y, z. I will write only the z value here. So, 0 0.2 into this third value, you will get this answer. We have a negative sign here. Okay. Now, what is the final formula? Y of x0 plus h is equal to y0 plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4. We do not have L4 here in this formula. That is why I did not find L4. Okay. So, the first k1 value we got 0, k2 value we got this, k3, k4 substituting all these things. We are getting the final answer as y of 0 0.2 as 0.9801. This is your final answer. When we have to find L4? When they ask what is Y dash, find its uh, derivative value at 0 0.2. If they have asked the derivative value also, then 
y dash of 0 0.2 will become I will write down this formula y dash of 0 0.2 is equal to instead of y naught what I will write z naught plus 1 by 6 into z1 plus 2z2 plus 2z3 plus z4 correct yes or no this is how you will write so this is the initial value z naught here what we have l1 l2 l3 and l4 okay so only here z naught why i am telling you in this formula also if you see y naught these are all just k values this is nothing but the function value correct so you can find uh, l4 if it's required for the question here in this question they didn't ask anything they asked only find y of 0 0.2 so i stopped with k4 if they ask derivative value then find l4 and substitute that l4 in the given equation and also this value is close to the uh, given uh, initial condition that is uh, y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0 and y is this value when x is 0 0.2 so slightly uh, the value has been reduced but there is no drastic change say all of a sudden students will write uh, 33.9801 no way it could become 33 because your initial value is 1 so it's could it could be slightly higher than the initial value or slightly lower than the initial value your initial value is at 0 the y value is 1 so this should be 1.2 or 0.98 it could be either way okay so you can guess the answer also when you are calculating thank you